Hi, it's Ken Lauer and you're watching Ken Lauer TV. The place to be to transform the areas of your life that are causing you the most problems. And today's question comes from Sarah and she writes, Hi Ken, I'm moving into a new home and I wanna make sure that I really position my bed correctly according to feng shui guidelines. So what are the best tips that you have for placing a bed in the correct position? Sarah, this is a great question and here is why. One of the most important aspects of a bedroom layout is the actual placement of the bed. It can not only serve as the focal point of a room, but it can also have an impact on many areas of your life, including your relationships, your finances, your health, and overall self-confidence. When you have your bed in a proper position, you're in control of your life, you're more productive, and you can really be more proactive rather than reactive. You have less anxiety, frustration, and you really feel like you're moving forward in life. So to start with, focus on placing your bed in a command position, which means that you can see the door when you're laying in bed, but that you're not in direct line with the door. Now, as you can see in this diagram, there are three command positions of a room so that your bed is on one of the side walls or at an angle or positioned on the back wall. Notice that these positions do not have the bed directly in line with the doorway. One common mistake is placing the bed in direct line of the door, which is referred to as the coffin position. Now, those that are typically sleeping in the coffin position may begin to really develop health problems with their feet and may experience an increase in anxiety or frustration or short temper over a period of time. Another common mistake that you even see happening in many of the decorative or design magazines or the makeover shows is putting the bed in what's called a gatekeeper position. The gatekeeper position is where the head of the bed is on the same wall as the door. And as a result of putting your bed there, the person that sleeps there is going to have a difficulty sleeping and also wake up in the morning feeling tired and not really well rested. Many of the people also like to push the bed into the corner to really maximize their overall floor space. The ideal situation is that you wanna be able to walk around both sides of your bed and you should have a foot or more of open space on each side of the bed. If one side of the bed is blocked, it could have an impact on either your relationships or your finances and income depending on which side of the bed is being blocked. Another question I get a lot of is, can I place my bed under a window? Well, the bed can be placed under a window, but you need to make sure that you have a solid headboard. It could be made of wood or fabric. You need to make sure that it's solid and it's firm, especially if you have a window that's really drafty. One thing to consider is when placing the bed, what's on the other side of the wall or in between the wall? It should not share the same wall as water pipes or a faucet or a stove or heavy amounts of electronics directly opposite the wall, as this can have a negative impact and really can cause mental and physical issues over time. So let me share a quick story with you regarding the placement of the bed. One of my clients came to me because she'd been having insomnia for more than a year. She was frustrated in her current job and was really just feeling stuck in so many areas of her life. So one of the things we did was we actually moved her bed to the command position. And that night, she got the first full night's sleep in more than a year. She woke up more energized and that feeling really continued. She was able to take better control of her life and her goals. As a result, she began living a more fulfilling life. She left her dead end job and realized she wanted to start her own business. Now she did just that and in a very short time period, she was already really achieving really great success doing what she loves. Now, coincidence? I don't know. But the one thing I can tell you is she's not moving her bed back to where it was before she started attracting all these great things in her life. So Sarah, that was my answer to your question. I hope you enjoyed it. Now I'd love to hear from you on this topic. Take a moment to look at the placement of your bed. Is it in the command position? Are you able to walk around both sides of your bed? Do you sleep good and feel well rested when you wake up? Share your comments below. As always, the best action happens after the episode at KenLauer.com. So go there and leave a comment now. Did you like this video? Then subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you want even more great resources to transform the areas of your life that are causing you the most problems so you can live your best life, come on over to KenLauer.com and sign up for the updates. Keep focused and strive for your goals and take action so that you can share your greatness and your beauty with the world. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Ken Lauer TV.